Hi everyone, my name is Anaga and I'm part of the data science discovery staff and in this question uh, today we're going to be assessing in-person versus online learning for intro stats. So here it says, do students learn uh, introductory stats if they take the course in person or online? Uh, last semester we compared the grade distributions of the two groups in person and online and there were no significant differences right the in person class and online class were run exactly the same so the you know the tests and the content were you know basically the same for both the classes right so one of the questions here is will students do equally well in each section regardless of you know basically what section we're in? they're in well the number one thing to identify here is that this is really an observational study and how do we know that well this is because um, in an observational study the the subjects or you know the people who are involved get to choose which group they're essentially in right so when you register for a course you can register you have the choice to pick if you want to be in an in-person course or an online course, right? So that's the observational study because the researchers have no control over what courses, you know, which group the student can pick. And and here the the, the subjects clearly know which, which group they're in, right? So we're kind of just observing that. So that is why this is an observational study. And because of this, it's very hard to prove causation. Most of the times with an observational study, uh, you can, you know, only really show correlation because there's just too many other confounding factors that affect um, the actual treatment itself, right? A lot of people who may be more comfortable with self-studying may register for online and they may have different academic performance than those who register for in-person. That's just an example of such a confounding factor that can, yeah, you know, really affect that, that treatment group. So this is why we you know, really cannot assume that students will do well in each sex section just because this is an observational study you know this is more associated with correlation and there's just too many confounders going on here in order to really prove whether there is a difference between these two groups so uh, the second part of the question is we plan to do an experiment to help us decide which method helps interest our students the best right we randomly select 40 students from uh, next semester's combined intro stats rosters to participate. Then we randomly assigned 20 students to 10 short stats lectures and 20 to watch uh, the same one on video. And then later everyone takes the same quiz and then compare results. But after we did the randomization, we noticed that just by the luck of the draw, the in-person group ended with sin significantly more girls than the other group. What should we do to fix this? So what this is basically saying is that out of our 40 students, the in-person group by chance even though there was random assignment involved ended up with a higher percentage of females than the online group and of course we can say that gender is a possible confounder here we want our treatment and control groups to be as alike as possible and as representative of the entire population as possible if the in-person group has a higher percentage of girls, then obviously this will affect our results, right? So the number one thing to do here is to block um, on, on gender. So block based on your gender. So if you have, um, for example, let this, you know, represent our 40 students what we want to do here for blocking is basically divide that 40 students. Uh, yeah, we have randomly selected 40 students. So you want to divide 40 students based on gender. So let's say we just divide based on you know females. Uh, that's going to be one group. And then males is another group. And then what we want to do after we have divided that random sample of 40 students into our two blocks basically into the males and females and we want to randomly assign 50 percent of each group here to the uh control and experimental groups so what i want to do is randomly assign half of my females to the control group 
right? Let's say this is control, and then this one is experimental. Um, or I guess here we're dealing with online and in person, right? So let me make it a bit more specific. Online, and then this is in person. So let's say we assign half of the females to online and half of them to in person, and half randomly assign half the males to online and the other half in person. So what we're doing here is we have our males and females or all of the all of our genders right are basically equally split among the online and in-person groups so we don't have the problem or of having you know for example too many females in the online group and too little females in in-person because we are first blocking based on gender and then doing that random assignment you know randomly assigning 50 percent of the females to online and 50 percent to in person and doing that for the rest of the groups that we blocked on in order to make sure that each uh, of our control versus experimental groups has an equal proportion of that sample that we first chose so I hope this is uh, useful. If you have any questions, let me know. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye.